have been a rich fellow. He got himself a pretty big room. take any damage. So I'd say that's a successful fight. What's over here? Well, obviously a door. Is there anything over here? Better be. I'd hate to go exploring and... Ooh! choose from. Hopefully I can uh, kind of backtrack real quick, replace this thing with that uh, rail gun when it runs out of ammo. supplies running or lying around. It'd be kind of strange if they were running around. I get a, I get the feeling that there is going to be a pretty big battle very, very soon! <laughs> or I mean, maybe just one of those things kind of sitting there. refuses to open. Reflex booster XP. Time is never on your side. Oh. Follow me. Stand still. Go on the helium. Yeah. 
Oh, I love hearing random people scream in the car. God damn it! Oh no, going back for the rail gun now. Fucking over linearization, closing shit behind me. God damn it! <laughs> Whoa! Hello. You're right here. I don't care about your opinions. Oh, come on, game. Reload. Okay, I'll just uh, chase my way through the battle here. That's one way of doing it. Right now, just to be safe, let's hop back and grab one of the weapons stashed here. Mostly just in case that guy didn't actually drop anything. Actually, yeah, I might as well save while I'm at it. many supplies. Well, yeah. I suppose if... Ooh, penetrator. I suppose if that one guy with a minigun hadn't gotten, like, stuck in a corner, then I probably would have needed all the supplies back in the last place. But this really isn't that difficult. I need to check this... Yeah, it's still an extreme. I didn't really expect it to have changed, but it's definitely still an extreme. Highest difficulty possible. The door's open. Oh, the door's open! Freedom! people. So, I think it would be a good idea to prepare this time. I have not pressed the button yet. Throw a mine down there. And also one here. Throw a turret over here. And one right here. Three of these. Kind of useless. In all honesty. Save again so we don't have to redo the setup. Actually, this is probably a very bad idea because that means I can't redo the setup if it turns out that the setup is bad. Oh well, too late.
That seems to be it. Well, the setup was perfect then. Well, maybe not perfect. I don't think this turret actually did anything. Maybe I should have put both turrets down here, like hit them in the uh, bushes. Doesn't matter, I suppose. They're all dead. Very little difficulty on my end. Isn't this where I just came from? Camera can't have been here. No, there must have been a room down this way. Ah, yes, here. At least I'm pretty sure it was this one. Checkpoint confirms. And I'm out of coffee. appreciate this. So, to contradict the thing I said earlier, I'm forced to go this way. Now is the perfect opportunity to use this weapon. Not really perfect, it's not a mech. secret. Only way to go. Retreat! Yeah, you better retreat. Oh, somebody, somebody help me! Lied to that ghosty thing of a bobber. That would have been a terrible death. Very frustrating. Flashing orange lights, however. Mumbling incoherently. Hmm. I must press this button. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Not sure if I really need this. TV here. That seems to be exactly what I can see through the window. Yep. Same bloody thing. Hmm. Strange cube map. to the 15th floor. Surely nothing bad can happen at all. We're still on the 0th floor. Eat 
level 5 extraction point, Dark Heart. Situation, the hospital has been ransacked. The Isfold D bodies lie everywhere. Unknown forces are interfering with the operation of Life Flight Elevator. Mission, restore elevator functionality and make your way to the roof. Press any key to continue. of going here right to get scared that's what I suppose there is a med kit down there so there is a little use huh looks like it's raining outside this is a good thing not very sanitary. You shouldn't be walking with blood like that. You never know what's in it. Right. We're in the morgue. Terrible place to be. I don't know why anybody would want to go here. Uh shit, it's a dull down there.
He looks kind of like the guy that you find dead in the construction building at the beginning of the main game. My light is disabled. I do not like. That's just a random guy. Screaming. Harlan, wait! Oh, fuck! Who's this random scientist with a disfigured face? Jenny Wade? scary. Walls closing in? Yes. You douchebags? No.
Fine, I just picked up a signal. If you can hear me, get to high ground. A chopper is standing oh, by. Banners. Good, good to hear. Also, this is some pretty awesome music. I really like this orchestration. Now, if only I could find a way to uh, extract the audio files from the game's data. I won't really need the reflex booster. Because it definitely sounds like, you know, sort of a whole end of game sort of theme. With a happy ending, no less. Of course, I'm also kind of walking aimlessly through this. Aimlessly through this place with no real clue as to where I'm actually going. Desk was definitely at the beginning. More. No. Security office. No. This must be the entrance. Yep. Here we go. This may actually be the last. Uh, this may actually be the absolute end. Actually, no. Life flight elevator is operational once again. The S bond D coordinator has made contact and directed you to the, 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 the extraction point on the hospital roof. No other surviving fear or S bond D operatives have been found. Proceed with extreme caution. Head to the extraction point on the roof and escape. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to save that for the next video. All right, back to the what might be the final uh, stupid scroll lock, final level of the game, or final video of the game. But I'm not sure. This, hey, shark. This is actually attempt number two because for right some reason they didn't Black record. Hawk. I didn't get far in it, anyways. You should know better by now. Fuck you, Paxton. like this music a lot. 
progress. Oh yeah, this level is just uh, <clears throat> working out real nice for uh, quick saving. Come on, buddy. I don't appreciate you, you blowing up my turrets. Oh! as I can. She would not be forgotten. We will make them remember. They will die. <laughs> All of them. I suppose that's the end of it. Uh, second thought, I think I'm just gonna tack this video on to the uh, end of the last one because why upload a six minute part? Anyway, I guess it's time to the uh, review like portion of these things. Rather short. Compared to uh, Perseus Mandate, it's a pretty short expansion. But. It's, it's basically exactly what I, ex what I expect out of an expansion. More of the same, with a few added things, at a price lower than uh, full price. It's what I expect, it's what I want. It's an expansion pack, not a goddamn sequel. Have a lot of fun to play through. <clears throat> you know, it's good. you got the uh, scary bits that aren't as numerous as they should be, you know, for a game called Fear got the the uh, action sequences hell of a lot of fun uh, yeah I still don't understand why monolith decided to throw a bitch fit and uh, toss these games out of the these expansions out of the uh, space-time continuum they're well done fun carry on the story and a lot of what was accomplished in these were just kind of uh, ripped off by the monolith, monolith themselves for their uh, official sequel. Douchebags. Yeah, basically a hell of a lot of fun. There's really not much else I can say. It's it's a fear game. You know, it's fun to play. Fun to uh, jump around and kick people in the face.
So yeah, I think I'll uh, cut off the commentary track here. Fear Ultimate Shooter Edition is available on Steam for $20 USD. I don't know what the exchange rate is for other currencies, and I don't feel like looking them up and saying them all out. $20 on Steam, USD, and that includes the base game and both expansion packs. Pretty, pretty damn good deal. <clears throat> I mean, how some games from... Some games are $20, just the base game alone, and you have to pay extra for the expansion. And I'm talking about games from the same era. Actually, hell, one a year prior. Doom 3, you can get on Steam for 20 bucks, and then pay like 15 to 20 bucks extra for the one expansion pack, and that's a year older than this. Yeah. Whatever, I'll cut it off here. 20 bucks on Steam. Buy it!